The National Health Service is one of Britain's biggest employers, with 1.3 million staff. This is an organisation on a massive scale, with matching energy usage. It's not a question of either do we look after day-to-day -day patient health care or do we have a long-term view about our carbon emissions. Addressing carbon emissions and sustainable development in the NHS helps patient care directly today, both very directly in terms of promoting physical activity, reducing coronary heart disease and diabetes, but also the huge financial savings it may incur, it may result as a, as a result because that money can be re-employed directly into patient care. Tackling day-to-day -day inefficiencies such as turning off computers, drawing upon local food sources and more cost-effective use of pharmaceuticals can have major implications for an organisation with an annual purchasing budget of £17 billion. Within regional NHS trusts, a new carbon reduction strategy is already taking place. One way what we achieved our target is by carrying out with the NHS Carbon Management Programme, which is actually a 10-month programme which helps you implement a carbon management programme. It also helps you set your targets. For us, for our trust, at the moment, is 15% by 2010, a carbon reduction. Now, that is of crucial importance because we need top-level, high-level board backing and we also need the backing of all our staff. At our hospital, we have over 3,000 staff. Awareness is crucial. The strategy review is being undertaken as scientists measure the effect of climate change. The effect on Britain may be less in the short term than for some other parts of the world, but the implications remain important. The NHS Sustainable Development Unit um, has launched a carbon reduction strategy for the NHS in England and it's absolutely crucial that we get people from within the NHS to put their hands up and say yes we believe the NHS has a huge role to play and we're prepared to play it at the same time as delivering our day job of effective safe health care. As the leading public sector employee in Britain, the NHS has the potential to set down a yardstick in responding to climate change. From major decisions in allocating resources, to the daily savings and administration by turning off computers when not in use, the overall aim is to take a fresh look at its energy strategy.